Welcome to Calgary. Let's take a walk. For Calgarians, Scott and Joanne Ballantyne, walking is a way of life. We like to walk, we like to get out. We find one of the best ways to see a city is to get out on your feet, get engaged and go for a tour. So in 2012, with one foot in front of the other, they began sharing their passion for walking with the visitors of Calgary, Alberta. Scott and Joanne are the founders and chief tour guides of the walking tour company, Calgary Walks. The Calgary Walks tour is a place for guests to come and get real interactive with the city in a pretty short time frame. Tours last around two hours. Hopefully it'll just give them a real good sense of what they like about Calgary and might like to experience more of while they're here or maybe even on their next visit. Oh, I'm sorry. We want to share the people of Calgary with people that come on our tour. We want to show you our, our buildings, the architecture, the, the public art that is available here for all of us to enjoy. We show them elements of our city that we hope really embrace history and some culture and we give them a snapshot of what our city has to offer. We often refer to our, uh, our tours as friends showing friends. So if we had friends come and visit us, what would we show them? That's what Calgary Walks delivers to our guests. We want to be ambassadors for our city. That's what we're looking to do. We are a very horsey culture, okay? Calgary is a horsey culture even today. People love Calgary. They really enjoy what this city is, what it has to offer. I think their expectations of Western Canada are sometimes built around the idea that we're this uh, Western outpost and they keep looking for the covered wagons and the horses running up and down McLeod Trail. So I think they're surprised by this very urban, pretty dynamic young city that they're getting a chance to experience. Oh, so we should catch the Glenbow. Scott and I love to travel, and we have traveled all over the world. And we've had some wonderful experiences doing walking tours in big cities uh, around the world. And it was those experiences that caused us to say to each other, let's do this. We would love to have that experience happening in our city. That's where we got our inspiration. We've really had the opportunity to experience many places around the world and we love to travel, we love to get engaged, and hopefully Calgary Walks allows us to express and share our passion for travel right here in our own backyard. If you wanted to go across there, you had to use Fogg's Ferry, it was just a ferry boat. On a tour, you'll find me sort of giving stories, I'm more the storyteller, I like the history, that's where my passion lies. There's just no end of depth to what I know that we can find out about Calgary's past. I am a construction guy by nature, so I enjoy showing some of the construction elements, especially some of the newer pieces and buildings that we have in our city. We have a, a bit of an innate enjoyment of art, and I think that's what our tours will show, is that part of our, of our spirit and our personality as well. Anybody need their uh, pictures taken? This is a really good spot for that guy, so just enjoy it. You can walk around and you can see stuff, but you don't realize the significance of it. Culturally, historically, physically, like why it is, where it is, and stuff like that. And a lot of the history you, you, you just miss. And when you miss the history, you miss the life of the city. Recognized men. When people like Scott and Joanne have put so much effort into research and like developing the places that you should go and walk, you can get more out of a two hour walk than you can just wandering around. Calgary Walks offers urban walking adventures from March until October. Yet unlike the Canadian beaver, they take an understandable break during the winter. Oh, it's a beautiful uh, day here today. We experience lots of variable weather. Uh, people sometimes want to tour in the late fall or early winter, so we have the challenges of weather. We have a lot of language challenges. Mobility is an issue. We've had guests in wheelchairs. We've had parents that want to bring strollers, so we have to find ways to navigate them around. We had a guest who was blind and he had a wonderful need to get up close and touch everything and reach out with his hands. So, you know, those are some of the things, some of the challenges. While modern technology is great for getting around on your own, it simply can't match the positive social experience that happens when people connect. With Calgary Walks, Scott and Joanne hope the human touch of their tours will keep guests engaged and excited as they discover Calgary one sensational step at a time. I am particularly passionate about sharing the city, uh, the buildings, the architecture, some of the art they get to see. 
The green spaces, the river, the Bull River is a beautiful place that's been woven right into the downtown core. I think it's that collection of elements that, that people enjoy and what makes me so passionate about what we have to share with our guests. I find it an absolute delight to make all these acquaintances with people that are from all over the world. We enjoy our walking and talking together and it's lots of fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, it was very good. Very good. Up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> I think it would be wonderful if they've come here and enjoyed it and decided that they want to come back for another visit. And I, I think that maybe we've all done our job then. You guys have been great, great guests today. Uh, we've really had a lot of fun. So thank uh, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. yeah it was yeah. awesome. You guys were great. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.